Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. I'm out here near a KOA entrance. That's Campgrounds of America. Uh, just north of Steckel Park, uh, north of Santa Paula. And I have to say, things are looking a little grim after the Thomas fire. You can see how the fire swept up the mountains on the, on the right here, all the way up those tall mountains. And uh, probably a back fire was lit on the right hand side of the road here. And, but it leaped across the road and hit also some of the land on this side before the river valley over here. And uh, when it reached the, um, when it reached the campground, uh, some of the vehicles had not been evacuated, I think. And for instance, here we have a truck. Looks, this is a typical look for a vehicle that's been burned in a, a, a blaze of real hot fire in the mountains. Actually, this is mild for that because the engine's gone and the tires are gone, but the main body of the truck is still there. And farther on down here on the right, on the left, on this side of the street, uh, some of, it looks like some small metal sheds have kind of collapsed and sunken into the earth down here. Reminds me of that Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz movie where the, you know, the Wicked Witch melted. <laughs> It's kind of like that. I think probably some of the um, some of the campers probably got out, and some didn't. Maybe there were permanent, like small buildings here. See. So, for example, this might have been shed before. Do you think? It just kind of collapsed. And probably this log just kept burning for a long time. Maybe there was a tree here that burned and added to the fire. Yeah, and over here the same. You can see everything is burned through here. And this is just to the left of the entrance to the KOA here. Down here, the entrance itself is all closed off. I couldn't go in with my car. I'm left to imagine what might have happened. See how the metal... I don't know why it crumples like that. Isn't that amazing? It looks like another car over there. This, this one really is, was totaled though. And I wonder if that... what you see up there is the floor of a mobile home by any chance? See what I don't know could fill a lot of encyclopedias. So down here we have the entrance to the KOA and oddly a few months prior in the fall 2017 I was down this way the place was jam-packed and full there weren't any places available to rent and uh, now it seems to be pretty much deserted. Tension only registered campers and guests beyond this point. More signs of devastation over here. I really don't see any people around. I think I see a structure over there that is intact. Small structure with a shiny roof. Well, Things are not looking that good for this season here at this what was once a KOA campground. But on the good side, here over here in the river valley, still there are crops that are not even singed by the storm. And there are people down in the Steckel campground down here that are happily picnicking. Yet on the far side over there, more mountains completely burned. Isn't that something? So life goes on. Pretty soon we'll be seeing the fire following flowers of the mountains of California coming out and offering a brave display of color here in this parched landscape. That's all for now. 
Alice, signing out.